Hey guys, Jimmy Vegas here, and today we're taking a look at an asset in the asset store, which is free, called Island Assets. Now, what initially attracted me to this particular asset to review is the vibrant nature of it. And if we take a look at the actual trees themselves, they look kind of nice, vibrant. Same with the chest and the terrain itself and everything around it. Uh, in the actual scene itself, which is given to us, it is quite nice it does look very nice but always have to remember that these assets can be modified in any way you want their initial um, actual version is still very nice to use and it's probably something you'd expect to see in maybe a mobile game but that doesn't mean to say that you couldn't use them in a pc build or something like that so i like the idea of the chest is actually two separate components so we could remove the top part of the chest if we wanted to i always like to see objects which do have movable parts rather than just one whole object. Uh, the trees are fully uh, rendered, fully built, so you can actually use them within a wind zone. And if I press play, we can see that they're not just bog standard trees. They do actually move in the wind, which is fairly decent. So you've got uh, a really standard controller with it. I mean, it, I don't think it moves around. I think it just looks around. Uh, a couple of scripts attached as well, which could be quite useful when it comes to the water effects. Again, that's really useful. So let's explore what is inside this particular package. We've got some meshes, which naturally is part of the scene itself. We've got the prefabs for those, so we can kind of just drag and drop those in if we want to. Very nice. Uh, we've got the scene, the one that I'm actually in. We've got the scripts for a couple of different things. Again, what basically mouse look and the tiling and the water scrolling, very nice. Uh, the terrain, obviously all of this. And finally, the textures. Now, these textures uh, can be used in a multitude of ways as well. As I said earlier, we could actually modify them a little bit if we wanted to. I'm going to take this tree, for example. In fact, no, let's take the floor because the floor is going to be the easiest to spot the difference here. And we know that the floor itself is based on this grass. So I could always just take that, duplicate it, create a normal map from it, tick grayscale, apply, and we could always apply that to the texture itself. So if we edit texture and just drag that onto there and apply, you can see how different it already looks. So that's what I mean by being able to modify what an asset looks like rather than just sticking with the original version of it. And I, I don't like to rate assets uh, per se. I like to recommend assets. Um, and I would recommend this one. If you're going for that style of environment, maybe a mobile game, as I said earlier, maybe you just want to create a, a nice, calm, relaxing scene, then this is almost definitely one of the assets that you could use here. So yes, I would absolutely recommend this asset. It's very nice. Very nice and bright. So guys, if you've got an asset in the asset store you'd like me to take a look at and review, uh, please just drop me a note in the comments. Let me know. And uh, yeah, don't forget to subscribe. Click the bell icon as well. Stay up to date with everything I do on this channel. And I will see you soon with another asset review. Guys, thank you very much for watching.